Right, just a very small video. Um, I think it might be the 6th today of September. Yeah, it's the 6th of September 2021. We've got a little spurt of summer for a couple of days. Unfortunately, I've got a physio appointment, which I've, which you need to grab when you get one on the best day, which is tomorrow. But it, and, but really, it'll be too hot for me tomorrow anyway. It, I reckon it'll reach 28, 29 tomorrow. So there's no way I'd want to be walking out on the hills, really, in that heat. Today's going to be pretty hot. But I'm doing, I've got a got one largest, largest, larger quite large hill now to get up to my beautiful style overlooking Somerset then it's really downhill and all flat for ages and ages to the end of the walk at the end of the day when I've got to go um, possibly up the old pathway skirting Longwood to Piney Slights and Long Sheepfield that that isn't, I mean, I've got trained myself for that. This one I rarely do. I'm normally coming down this one. But I thought I'd vary it. Um, because I'm in the middle of doing the videos for um, the Cheddar Circular I did the other day where I visited Velvet Bottom. And I said on those videos I would come back to Velvet Bottom and just do the little nature trail. Well, I thought, well, if I do it today, I can just add that, tack that onto the end of the video I've just completed to do the nature trail. So basically, because I've done Velvet Bottom walking and talking the other day, I might do a little bit as I go down the hill in a minute, down the south side of the gorge, across the road over to Black Rock. I might do a little bit then, because I never videoed coming up it the other day. So I might video going down that. And then, basically, I'm, I'll probably take some photos of Velvet Bottom as I go, but I really want to keep the videos for the nature trail. So this is just an introduction. Right, I know I said I wasn't going to do much videos this way, but the thing is, the other day I was going down different perspective. Over there you've got the reservoir. Now that is hard coming up when you've got a bag laden with water for a day's water supply in your back, your food, a spare coat, the jumper off at take off, a hat, first aid kit and other bits and pieces I carry about with me. But this would be this is the biggest hill I've got to do all day, believe it or not. I mean, it's not just that bit. I've had to come down from right down in Cheddar. Up, 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 up. That bit was tough back there. Tough on the calves. Calves, calves. So in a minute, I'm gonna be at my beautiful style. But it's still misty. All this mist is supposed to clear. I can only just see Nyland Mound, which is in the mist over there, look. That's Nyland Mound that I've spoke about. It's a reference point. Not far from Wedmore. Glastonbury will be right over there, but it's in the mist at the moment. It might be above the mist by the time we get to the stile. And it'll probably be in view much later today because this mist is lifting. It's going to be baking. Um, I've allowed my skin to have some natural vitamin D from the sun. It's, it's sort of out. Um, someone said you should allow at least 20 to 30 minutes of natural exposure before you put your protection on. Otherwise, sometimes they say you, you're not getting... You can't get the vitamin D because you're protecting your skin from the sun, but you're also s preventing vitamin D. <sighs> yeah, this is lovely, this is. So peaceful. I wanted to come this way. I like this route. I prefer it on the way down. 
I like this room. I did meet one bloke. I've met him before. He owns a bit of the wood down there. And he also owns one of the old cottages with the old-fashioned caravan in it for holidaymakers. I've met him a few times. He just smiles and say hello. It's taken 15 years, you know. <sighs> Keep going, chill. Can't see no long-horned cows at the moment. I've still got quite a way to go. Not up there yet, but it's not going to be... So this is the last bit of the main steepness that I'm doing at the moment. So, sometimes it's good for me to share what I'm doing. I mean, you see some people's videos, they only show the good bits. Um, and some, that's why my videos are long sometimes. So you get an overall picture of the weather, the, can, the terrain... Uh, what's going on in the world, how I'm feeling. Um, but I've got, and it's going to be very exposed once I get over to Velvet Bottom again. I will be wearing the hat. I probably won't wear it until I get over there because going down the gorge through the wood is protected. Going through Black Rock is protected. So... I won't be putting it on yet, but as the day goes on, it's going to get hotter and hotter. Apparently. Apparently. I plan to get out the next two days as well, but not massive hikes. Um, I'd love to go back over to the Quantox, but Wednesday there's a threat, they said, of thunderstorms in the afternoon, so I can't risk it. I can't be on the Quantox in a, in a lightning storm. Right then folks, I'm heading on up towards the stile. I'll come back on when I get up there. Yeah, there's a good example of ash dieback. The main, the little tree at the top, which has got the post on, it's also got ash dieback as well. I'm just doing a little bit of a video as I go down. There's quite a few people about. It's not easy to video, but that's quite a nice scene now, look. Uh, there's a lot of ash trees here, and a lot of them have got ash dye back. I expect they'll have be for the chop soon. That one there's probably got it. Let's turn off a minute. Yeah, there's quite a lot of ash dye back up here. Um, there's been quite a few people I haven't been able to record. But see all these trees here, and this little tree at the top, the marker tree, that one's got ash dye back as well. But look how evident it is here. <sighs> so the whole planet's infected with something, isn't it? That couple, there's another couple that passed me a minute ago. I seen them get really striding off earlier. They they were doing a good pace, actually. They left Cheddar about the same time as me, and they've already done the other side. Um, so they're doing quite well. Doing quite well. Yeah, I'm feeling all right, you know. It's uh, just a little bit in the cool for a little bit, you see. I said I'd do a little bit of video and going down because I didn't video coming up because of the, the pe lots of people around. But look, look at this. This is all ash dye back, look. I'm just going to... Yeah, I've taken some photos. I'll carry on videoing. on again. Yeah, I've got a little bit of video footage, a little bit of imagery of the <sighs> ash die back. Like I said, it's very busy. There'll be people out because basically it's a lovely day. Everyone's getting out while we can. <sighs> 
Different place in the winter, this place. Different place when it's pouring my rain. So this is the bit I missed out the other day. So I'm sort of doing it in reverse, but looking back, so I went out that way, I passed some goats. Um, more people coming. I have to turn off again. It's quite steep and slippery. You can see the stones are very slippery here. Um, so I'm, I'm taking my time going down this bit. There's the road down there. I'll do a little bit of video footage. It can all link up. There is a little path you can sometimes do. Oh, excuse me, I've got a bit of indigestion there. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I forget sometimes. Yeah, I can imagine the water gushing down here, can't you? When um, when there's um, a storm. Of course, what some people don't realise, they all come down here, but you can actually go, climb up through the trees there. You don't have to come around this way. If I was doing that route, I wouldn't come down here. I'd go straight across and down. But it's not very well marked. I can feel that sun coming out now, folks. Won't be long before the hat's on. Although it will be shady in the... in the... Um, Black Rock area in a minute. <sighs> yeah, it's ankle breaking territory this. And slippery. So there we are, coming down. Just videoing so people have an awareness. Over there is like a junction point for Black Rock, for the other side of the gorge. Sometimes there's leaflets there. Ah, somebody come in.